beast, and you women kill your kids in nine months. Get the f away from me. You're the whole I... reason to bite the apple. That's what it goes back to. You're the whole reason women, the world is ruined. That's right. Mostly women that bought out like that f Illinois. They sh that f Illinois, only a f woman could do that, like Adam and Eve. I just yeah, wanted to take care of your truck. That Arizona man wants you to know exactly what he thinks about women. And spoiler alert, it's not good. And he's hardly alone. Across the country, far-right Republicans are letting loose with insults, slurs, and even laws designed to turn women into second-class citizens. And this guy really didn't want his truck to be photographed. Here's more. Drop okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Remember, the woman in that photo was just trying to take a picture of that guy's car. And while she stays calm all through his verbal tirade, she's actually putting herself in real danger. That's because these MAGA morons think they're defending traditional values, and that even justifies committing acts of violence against women they see as betraying the real America. That Arizona man repeats some of the dangerous lies Republicans have been spitting out on Fox News, Newsmax, and at Donald Trump's rallies. If you heard, he thinks women are having abortions at nine months. Something that is not only untrue, it's absolutely absurd. And we don't have to look far to find out why people like this believe women aren't equal. Here's Arizona candidate for governor, Carrie Lake. We know that God did not create us to be equal to men. You know what? We aren't equal to men. Yep. Women are different than men. We don't want to be equal to them because we are not the same. Okay. I don't think abortion pills should be legal. I will work with the legislature. I want to pass pro-life legislation and sign it into law, and that's what my goal would be. I believe that abortion is the ultimate sin. How powerful a weapon do you think it should be legal? It's, what about rocket launchers? I, I, am, I am for any weapon. They moved the election so that Donald Trump wouldn't win. I believe he won, and I believe he won in a landslide here in Arizona. Wow. It cannot get clearer than that. According to Carrie Lake and a growing number of MAGA Republicans, God simply made women unequal to men, and that should be translated into laws that restrict women's rights. In Carrie Lake's view, handguns deserve rights and women should stay in the home. But isn't Carrie Lake running for governor? And just remember, these are the same Republicans who say they're running for office to protect the Constitution a document which says everyone is created equal. The Atlantic's Elaine Godfrey puts it best. In Carrie Lake, Trumpism has found its leading lady, and it's a woman willing to put the shackles on her fellow women in exchange for power. And if you think this MAGA madness stops with restricting women's right to get an abortion, well, let me introduce you to Republican John Gibbs. Johnny's running for Congress in Michigan, where he's proudly endorsed by Donald Trump. Oh, and he has some interesting thoughts on women. Here's CNN with more. So Gibbs is a former Trump administration official uh, who in the early 2000s ran this uh, think tank called the Society for the C uh, Critique of Feminism. Uh, and it basically argued uh, uh, several things, one of which was that the U.S. has, has greatly suffered from, from women having the right to vote, uh, that women uh, did not possess you know, the necessary uh, qualities to govern um, and that women should not be allowed to be in the workplace, basically. That's right. Gibbs would really like it if America repealed the 19th Amendment, which gives women the right to vote. And his reasoning? Women are just too stupid to be trusted. Listen to Gibbs in his own words. He says the 19th Amendment led the whole U.S. government to increase in size, um, adding, uh, we conclude that the U.S. has suffered as a result of women's suffrage. Now, on a few other occasions as well, he also praised an organization that was actively trying to uh, repeal the 19th Amendment. Uh, his own website uh, that he maintained called this organization great. Uh, he even wrote them an email that they then posted on their website in the early 2000s that said, you have my support. I laugh, but it's not funny. 
You see, John Gibbs is a nutcase, but he's a nutcase with a real chance of heading to Congress. Gibbs actually beat Congressman Peter Meyer in the Republican primary this year, due in large part to Meyer's vote to impeach then-President Donald Trump. Now, Meyer is political history and Gibbs may be the GOP's nightmarish political future. When Republicans aren't trying to take women's votes away, they're trying to have them thrown in prison for having abortions. That's the view of Pennsylvania candidate for governor Doug Mastriano, who told a radio show he'd love to fill the jails with women simply trying to exercise their rights. Take a listen. Would that woman who decided to have an abortion, which would be considered an illegal abortion, be charged with murder? Okay, let's go back to the basic question there. Is that a human being? Is that a little boy or girl? If it is, it deserves equal protection on the law. So you're saying yes? Yes, I am. For the GOP, hating women isn't just a characteristic of their fringe candidates. It's now essential to winning the nomination in their increasingly fascist party. And Republicans aren't lining up to condemn any of this language. Quite the opposite. They're sending donations to people like Carrie Lake and John Gibbs every single day. So what should we do about this? Well, for one, every single American who values women as free and equal citizens should be condemning this disgusting rhetoric and the violence it enables. And with voter registration deadlines rapidly approaching, progressives should be registering every single person they can find to oppose this kind of far-right extremism. There's also something Congress can do passing federal laws to protect abortion rights and the equal rights of women. We should know by now that none of our rights are safe if Republicans take back power in Washington. It's time Democrats accepted that reality and started governing for the crisis situation our country is truly facing. Without real legislative action and a grassroots tidal wave of voters ousting these Republicans from power, we'll wake up to find an America where women's rights are being carved out at the federal level. And if that dark future becomes a reality, the rest of our rights aren't far behind. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and consider subscribing. And leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.